Uh, today we'll be checking out uh, Transformers Legacy Evolution Tarn from the comics. I will admit, as far as the video, I don't know much about Tarn. I haven't read the comics, but I know he's from IDW. I know he's a big IDW character from what I've seen of him. Like I know he was like some some guy before before he became Tarn. Am I correct? I don't remember. But uh, he was a different guy. But uh, yes, this is a officially bought product, not stolen. You can see his box in the background there. But uh, yeah. uh, before I get on to Tarn here, I'm gonna look at the box actually. I did pay a little bit over price. You can see that by the by the forty forty five dollars. <laughs> I mean, the box art's not bad, honestly. Very nice. Very colorful. Evolution. Let's see the side art of Tarn here. Very nice. Get close up his face there. It's nice. Very nice. The back here. Tank mode. There's him doing a pose. Uh, Evo Fusion, whatever. Whatever that means. It's the name right there, Comic Book Universe, Tarn, Decepticon, More Than Meets the Eye, you know, how it goes, 27 steps, it's side of the art right here, got a, we got Optimus Prime, the Ethicons, Armada Prime, the Nemesis, oh you can't see all of it, Armada Prime, the Nemesis, some Junkions, so pretty cool stuff on the box actually, so uh, yeah, let me get rid of this, but I would come here before we really come here, to Tarn, here it is. Uh, I will say that it looks like my tarn has a few. Before well, the my tarn has a few gold spillage on him. You can see there, and I think a little bit on the face, like right there, which is fine. It's not gonna, it's not gonna kill me in the end. But yeah. Uh, I will say I've had him for like not even a day actually. Uh. I've only had him for a sense now. He's pretty nice, actually. Very well built quality. My only issue with my copy, though, is that I feel that his his double fusion cannon is a little loose on this arm. I will say that it's a little loose on my copy. But, yeah. but uh, his only accessories are these two cannons and this block. I really thought it would have been cool if his mask could pop off. But it can't, which makes sense because that'd be hard to engineer and all that, you know, price point all that. Besides that, yeah. There's the cannon. You can plug these into his arms separately, but yeah. He has about, I'd say, like 20 something. I don't know. A little less than that. But like, he has a good amount of, like, he has two on his feet, two on the sides of his legs, uh, about three, about like two on his arms, one more on the other one. He has a good amount of blast, not blast, but a good amount of, uh, Weapon ports on him so you can put a lot of weapons onto him. That's it. But uh, yeah. I do love the golden Decepticon symbol. That's one thing I do love about this design is that gold Decepticon logo. I love that. And one thing I do find cool is that all this is all plastic still. You can like glow, put lights through it, and I think it's pretty cool. It looks nice, honestly. Not much much for the back, honestly, though. I don't like how this is all clear plastic. But also, one thing I did notice while transforming and messing with it, and I feel like they didn't have to do this, they made this whole chest plate right here clear plastic, and I feel like they really didn't need to do that. Because also, that piece is kind of tight on there. I'll show you for transformation. But, yeah. It's kind of tight on there, piece. But, uh, before I continue on, with my flashlight here. Get the flashlight. I'm going to show you something with light piping. My issue with his light piping, I feel like it's a little weak, honestly. It's not the best light piping. No, I feel like it's a little weak on his head. It it barely works. Because they made the light piping block so tiny that, like, what was the point of even having light piping? I mean, it works better on his body, but you can't really tell because my studio lights are up. Let me turn off my studio light here. Where's the button? Hold on. Let me check my studio lights here and see if I can get a better look. Yeah, there you go. See, with my studio lights up, it works a little better. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, it'll glow through the chest and all that. You can kind of see there. Uh, same, same goes for the fusion cannon. It is all clear plastic. So that's 
It's pretty cool. Light back on. What's going on here? So, uh, this thing is still a little. This button? There we go. Sorry. I still don't get how my light works. <laughs> Where were they? Maybe I'm sorry. Uh, I will say these are blast, I'm pretty sure these are blast effects compatible. These are the guns on the back of the back. And just cannon. Obviously. I'm gonna put this cannon back on because it completes the look. Uh, I am going to compare him now to some other characters in terms of size. So I'm moving back here to get you a better idea scale. Here he is next to one of the smaller true Decepticons, Reflector. Or Reflect, Refractor. Refractor. So, he's pretty big actually for what he is, honestly. Very big. I forget what he was. Let's see here. He's a Voyager, so he's a big Voyager, honestly. Uh, here he is next to Dragstrip. So, still pretty big compared to Dragstrip. Here he is next to another comic book character who appears mostly in the comics, G-Axis. G-Axis is definitely bigger, obviously. Uh, here he is next to an obvious one that I should compare him to, Megatron. A about this, almost the same height as Megatron, a little bit shorter, honestly, a little bit shorter. Here he is next to a weird one, but I mean, if, this, if you've seen the com I mean, I've seen the comics, kind of, like I've seen the pages of it, uh, Overlord. So I think that's a good size to pair it on. I think, that, I think these sizes work, honestly, you know? These sizes work, you know? Yeah, let me just try it on. Yeah. So now back to the tarn here. I got a few gripes with this guy. I feel like some things I have a few issues with this guy in terms of design. From the front, he looks big. He looks imposing. Bulky. You turn to the side, I feel like he's a little too skinny, in my opinion. I feel like he's just a little too thin for my liking. Because then I bring out Jaxus and he's like, sure. Jaxus kind of has more of a more three-dimensional look to him. Is a lot more bulky in my opinion. And then I bring out also Megatron. And he's also more three dimensional. I feel like maybe if they were to bulk out his legs a little bit more and his chest, I'd like it a little better. That's one of my gripe of him. Another is it's these shoulders. I don't really like how they work, to be honest. I don't know, I don't really like how they work. It just doesn't really help posing, in my opinion. I think it would have sacrificed the sculpt, but I think I would have been fine with it if it was here and not here. Because it doesn't really kind of work, in my opinion. Yeah. And just one other thing that kind of bothers me about this guy. That I feel like I get it. He's a little bit off in his proportions in the comics I, I've seen. But besides that, he's an awesome figure, honestly. Um, let me get into articulation, though. Like I said, this, but like, uh, let me get down next to Like I said, the shoulders can go about that far. And I just I don't know. It's just a weird shoulder joint, in my opinion. Like every transformer ever, I can go all the way around. Let's or something like that. Uh, there's a swivel here. Arm can go back, so I guess. Uh, a, a decent elbow bend, move it over. Uh, I guess you want to cheat. You can use a transformation joint as a piece of articulation if you want to. So that's something. Uh, he has a wrist wall, obviously. Uh, something that not many figures get, and I'm finding this weird. I don't know if anybody else noticed this. Him and Jaxus share this thing. They can both open their hands, which is really weird to me why two comic book characters can open their hands and nothing, and like, and these are on Voyagers. Voyagers. Like, what, what gives? Why do they put these on Voyagers and not like leader classes and all that? I don't get it. But back to articulation. 
Uh, I guess if you want to count this, this, this can can swivel. Not a, not a like piece, but whatever. But uh, he can go all the way around. He does get stuck, not all the way around, but you would have to untap his backpack, basically, and get out of the way if you want to go all the way around. Not one issue. His head. He has it actually really, he can look up by that far if you use, if you use the transformation joint. But really, he can only look up about that far, which is still pretty good, honestly. Look down about that far. He's on a ball joint, so he can go all the way around and all that. So. Now, his hips are actually interesting, in my opinion. Because there's this, this piece right here. And it stays in place, and it's a third piece, and I find that really intriguing how they did that. It's a piece from the rest of it. So that's right, so. Pretty good kick. Good back kick. Uh... A very nice knee bend, and you can cheat a little bit and use the transformation joint. So that's something you want to do. Uh, he has kind of a, an okay, pretty decent ankle pivot. Very good feet articulation, like some of the best I've seen. Like honestly, his posing—you can get him in a lot of cool poses. Honestly, like I'm not the best at posing, but you can get him in pretty cool poses. Honestly. So, I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. This guy's really, honestly, he is probably one of the more fun figures that I'll just probably stand around and, not stand around, but like, kind of mess with. And just kind of like, pose around in all sorts of positions. Just, the only thing that's just, that is so, almost so perfect, and the only thing that's kind of weak on this guy is his shoulder articulation, that's about it. Now, his transformation is a bit of a weird one. I kind of have a hard time remembering it, but, uh, yeah. So, honestly, I'm not going to transform on camera. I don't like doing that. It's kind of obnoxious. This is my opinions, you know. Honestly. If you, if you come to me to, because I don't want to do that whole transformation thing anymore. I'm not, I don't want to do it anymore. Also, I'm lazy. I'm not going to edit this video, so. This cut is just gonna be a simple cut. I'm lazy. I'm not editing today. Screw that. All right, I'll be back. Oh, look at that, I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I forget to do. It's not as transformation is hard, it's just a, it's a little annoying and it's kind of confusing the first time you do it. Once you get it down, you get it down. But yeah, here he is in vehicle mode. Uh, my weirdest thing about this though, what's with the fake wheels? <laughs> What's with the what's with the fake wheels? Why couldn't he have real ones? Did all the budget go into the hands? Speaking of hands, yeah, they're just out in the open. They couldn't be bothered to hide them. Makes sense. I mean, the Cybertronian tank, so I guess we can do it. But yeah, uh, I'll be honest. I feel like I'm gonna be honest though. I feel like his tank mode was kind of an afterthought. Not 100%, but I feel like it was a little bit of an afterthought. Just because of how it looks. Not as bad as Skull Skullgrim back there. Why did I buy that? I hate that thing so much. So I'm gonna keep it. But I just have to say, oh my. In fact, this guy. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it was a bit of an afterthought. How it's designed, how it looks. But it's pretty cool for what it is. I like it. It's a little, little tank. I mean, it don't roll. Don't roll at all, its wheels are fake. What's the point of sculpting in the fake wheels? What's the point? Why? I get it that they don't want to scratch up this. What's the point of going so we can fit that one around? I got time. Oh, well, so then. But there it is, a tank. Of course, it does swivel up here, as tanks should. And it locks in. For you know, the turrets can go up and down, but not really. I mean, if you want to, you can move these, but these clip in, so yeah. yeah. Yep, sure is a tank, you can like, Don't roll or anything, you know? Yeah. Sure is a tank. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna cut the camera again, and you're gonna be in robot mode, and I'm gonna pretend like I did that in like a couple seconds, and all that, you know how it is. And, uh, be right back. And I'm back. Clothing shots here. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. 
do I think she could turn? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Sure, not everyone's gonna know Tarn. I mean, personally, I don't know him too well. I haven't read any of the IDW comics. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know all the DJD mem members' names by that well. I only know his will, his will and like one other, but I don't remember right now, that's in my head. But, uh, honestly, if you just want a Decepticon, just a character that, that basically screams Decepticon Foot Soldier, well not Decepticon Foot Soldier, but Decepticon in general, this guy is it. Purple, black, you know, gold, all that extra stuff. His head is the Decepticon logo. His face screams Decepticon, obviously, because his face is a logo. I know it's not that's not actually his face and all that, but you know, you know what I mean. It's a mask. Yeah. Also, he's real fun to pose. He's nicely articulated, except for those shoulders. But like that. he's just all in all a really well-made figure and sturdy. And hopefully. In the future, if, it, if Legacy does get a show, him and G-Axis can show up. Because, I'm going to be honest, I also love G-Axis. I love this guy. Personal favorite figure of mine. But, more on time. I hope he gets a show, hope he still gets a show, eventually. I know he did show up in Cyberverse, but it was like a different kind of characterization of him, and he was like a, just like a clone or whatever the heck. Besides that, I, I love this guy. Well, this figure. Really well done and just all around fun. Yeah, pretty good for what he is. Also, a very like you're getting a lot. For, you're getting the life a lot for the price of Voyager. Let's be honest here. This is a big Voyager. You're getting a lot here. Good posing, articulated hands. That's three accessories. I guess it, you know, and a character that not everybody's gonna know that well, but is still pretty cool in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, I think he's fun. And before I sign off here, uh, look at that. It showed up. I might review on it. I might review it, I'm not too sure. But, uh, oh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, why? But why? I forgot what I was going to say. All right, I'm going to end the video now. This will probably be cut out. Probably not. Alright, bye.